This is Idiots with Opinions. Idiots may vary. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Todd and Tuscan coming to you pre-recorded from an alien location here in what feels like a foreign country. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's down south. Yep. It's a little, a little east. Yep. Undisclosed location. We're not going to give give away our... I think we, we said in an earlier podcast, didn't we? Probably. Yeah, I think we mentioned this a couple of times. But we have finally made it to Atlanta, and we are in, in a back closet. Yeah, in um, billiards yeah. room yes. above the garage. Yes. Some Airbnb we're staying at. Mm-hmm. And that means it's idiots with opinions. That's that's correct. Uh, we, we are all about being super indie and uh, not really knowing what we're doing. Uh, hence our name, Idiots with Opinions. Mm-hmm. Today we have uh, a special little treat. For That's you. right. We got we got a guest star. We didn't yes. think we were ever going to do this, but here we are. But you know, we're always we're always proven wrong. We like to try new things, test it out. You know yeah. how it is. We're open minded, mm-hmm. and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to give it to our give it to our guest. Yeah, here good, he is good friend he's of ours, well known by many. Mm-hmm. Um, he is very famous on social media. That's right. Uh, many people love him and adore him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a dirty hippie, and mm-hmm. he is. He goes by the name of Ross Grebe. Yeah, welcome so, to the show, Ross. Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Ross Grebe, a podcast superstar. I've been called by some. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys very much for having me on. Yeah, of course, uh, man. This is one of the best podcast closets I've ever been in. Yes. Yeah, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is It is absolutely brilliant. We've got the uh, fantastic view of a tree right out the window. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yep. There's some and, nice mulch down there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, really. and, uh, and thanks for um, having Ross on our podcast. Tuscan has pledged to give Ross uh, 70% of his share of the Idiots with Opinions stock. Last time I checked, 70% of zero is yes. zero. Um, yes. Better than zero. Uh, I, on I top agree. of giving him twelve dollars every day for the rest of his life, it's a good um, deal. all out of Tuscan's pocket. So I just want to say thank you, Tuscan, for um, helping us out. Thanks. Yeah, you know I'm a generous guy. I've been called by everyone. Not true. A generous guy. But we'll move past that. Um, you know, Ross, you want to you want to talk about what you got going on in your life? Yeah. What do I got going on in my life? So I drove to Atlanta last night. Um, from Nashville. I'm in Nashville this whole summer. Um, Why? Why are you in Nashville? <laughs> well, Todd, uh, I'm in Nashville interning with Ed and Scott Cash. You can Google them. They're important people. Um, they're big music producers in the Christian music world. And so I basically pick up their lunch every day, clean their house. Like a good intern should. Like yeah. a good intern. No, yeah. No, Todd and I aren't doing like anything. Like a good that, intern, that Ross Grebe is there. That's what they say. Yep. That's that's how they say it too. That's what it is. With that amount of enthusiasm, it's right up there mm-hmm. with with the realist. Mm-hmm. Tuscan and I are here in Atlanta doing some pretty cool things. Um, that's right. Tuscan is uh, sitting in a courtroom, playing mm-hmm. on his phone. That's right. Yeah, I'm 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 uh, as an unpaid intern for a law firm. Uh, you, you think lawyers are are rich? They're not because they don't pay me. Yeah, they they have no they have no extra money to be floating around for a guy who's really just not doing anything but sitting there and and watching them do what they do, which is fun. I'm liking it, and and Todd's uh, Todd's with a uh, an advertising agency down here. Yeah, it's a desk job. Um, I've never had a desk job before, but it's pretty cool. Everyone really hates the space there um, because they're getting a new space that's really awesome and it's a really great company, but. Uh, I walked in and I was like, this place is so cool. They were like, oh, we can't wait to get out of here. But it's, it's, it's been interesting. Plus. Yeah, it's a plus. A yeah. Yeah. I, just, I just think it's really exciting to be in a desk job. But mm-hmm. most people probably are like, that sounds really boring. Um, anyway. So, yeah, if you're new to this podcast, basically what we do is we find weird news stories on the Internet uh, most of the time. Sometimes we like to do a little bit of experimental stuff, kind of stray away from our roots. Uh, but today we're going to do exactly that. We're going to find some weird news stories. I've got one. I didn't tell either of these guys what it is. I got one. I didn't tell either of these guys what it is. I got one. I didn't tell either of these guys what it is. Yeah. So there, there See, we go. he's fitting in perfectly. Yeah. He knows exactly I'm what to do. I'm an opinion. Feels yes. great. There we go. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what this show is about. We're just bringing in new idiots. And if you, you are interested in having more idiots with opinions uh, join us on this show, uh, like and subscribe. 
Mm-hmm. Ring the little do- the little bell. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to do that? <laughs> no, we're not. Okay. Never mind. We, um, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is uh, the official start of season two yes. of Idiots with Opinions. Uh, season one was kind of an experimental run. We were trying to see you know, where we were and, and feel it out. So I think now we've got real uh, a real feel for what we're doing. And, and we're going to move forward with our format and uh, try to bring you guys regular content every Friday uh, like we've been doing, but we've been kind of shoddy with that in the last couple months. Yes. Tuscan and I have been living in uh, different places, as mm-hmm. our regular listeners know. So now uh, we are together, and we also, if we do move out and go back to the places that we reside Which uh, is the plan. normally, then uh, we will still have um, these coming out on a regular basis. Um, and we will have uh, regular content, maybe even twice a week someday. I don't wow. know. Wow. Who Is knows? that the plan? I didn't know that was the plan. Yeah. You guys both want to go back to Omaha? Well, well no. Tuscan I, will be in Omaha. I'll, I'll be at be Lincoln. In, or yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, and I will be in Chicago. Chicago. And then maybe LA after that. But anyway. We'll see about that. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe in a box that's someday. A, that's a Cardboard. long shot. That's the dream. That's the dream. box. Yep. Yeah, living the American dream cardboard box with maybe a flashlight yeah that'd you be know? cool yeah yeah uh have a little pet raccoon so i think uh i think today we'll just jump right into it um yes I, i've got my uh my news story ready uh who, who who wants to start you know what how how crazy are you guys' news stories because mine's like kind of tame let's do ross's because he's an idiot yeah that's he's true. new to this let's, show let's bring ross. on bring us bring us what you got yeah we'll Give see us if it's idiot content. worthy yeah we'll we'll critique it yeah so I read this story. It's That's really your first more. Mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not. I read this read headline. This yeah, good. Um, it's really more of like a. It's a true story from I think Texas. Well, it should um, be a true story. We don't give fake news on this podcast, as far as we know. I mean, could be Russian bots. You never know. We don't but, uh, give any fake news <laughs> on this podcast. That's you, final. Is there like hashtags for podcasts? Is that a thing? Do you guys put hashtags or tags on your thing when you upload it? Well, I mean, you can well, do that on YouTube. on YouTube. YouTube, yeah. yeah. You should tag fake news. Actually, no. Yeah. Ooh. We don't do fake news. Fake news and not fake news. Both. Okay. okay. To get both. Yeah. You know what? Fake thanks news, Thanks for telling news. us what to do, Ross. It's what I'm here for. All right. I have an opinion. Which, so uh, I saw this headline, and it says, man kills snake. Mm. Snake tries to kill him back. Right. What? And so, yeah. <laughs> And so it, it almost has like a parable kind of quality to it. The first sentence is the story has a semi-biblical tone. And it goes on, blah, blah, blah. This dude was like walking around his house, saw a four and a half foot long rattlesnake outside oh. his garden, cut its head off with a shovel. All right. And then turned around and this dead rattlesnake's severed head jumped and Dude. bit him. What? What? Yeah. That can happen? Yeah, it can happen. Jesus. And so his wife called, you know, 911, took him an hour to get to the hospital at which point his internal organs had shut down. Right. Uh, he's fine now. He's stable. Oh, that's good. But oh, I was reading, good. and so then, of course, I went and Googled rattlesnakes. And apparently, uh, rattlesnake heads um, can stay live for up to four to five hours. Wow. After being that's ridiculous. Decapitated. Yeah. And so he says, yeah, I never, whenever I like pick up a rattlesnake dead in the wild, he puts it under a blanket in his back seat so it doesn't jump out and kill him. Because people do that? Pick up rattlesnakes in the wild. Yeah, it's his job. Mm. Or he's weird. I don't really know which. I was on the. That's that's freaking crazy. I was on the Georgia coast a couple of weeks ago. Shout out to uh, the Georgia Bar Association for and and my law firm for just like letting me live rent free on the Georgia coast for a, a few days. That was fun. That's your tax dollars, everyone. Yeah. No, the I'm the bar association is private. Hey, you know what? I was I it was a joke, Tuscan. Well, yeah, it all comes from the alcohol tax. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sin taxes pay for the greatest things. Keep sinning. You heard it here first. Wow. <laughs> um, we, we were on the Georgia coast, and I, uh, you know how the tide comes in and it creates those little tide pools when it goes back out? Tide pods? Yep. Uh, close. Well, that, that's what you call the whales inside of the tide pools. Yeah. yeah. It's a tide pod. Mm. Uh, so uh, there was They're a... delicious, I've heard. There, there was this tide pool, and I saw the head of a snake poking out of the the tide pool right just like right out of the water and so being 20 i decided to pick it up (laughs) (laughs) and um 
So, you know, when you pick up a snake, you got to grab it by the neck so it doesn't bite you. You know, when you're picking up snakes yeah. in your free time. But this snake had, like, the craziest acrobatic skills. It was able to, like, bend its neck. I thought it was I grabbed it close enough to the head. Apparently, I didn't. And it bent all the way back around and, and bit me on the finger. Um, That's why you don't have a finger. Yeah. No, I, it was... Uh, I, I mean, it, it didn't have any teeth. It was like this weird water <laughs> snake. But for a minute, I, I and everybody else around me had to watch my hand and make sure it didn't balloon to abnormal size uh, throughout the course of the evening. Wait, how did that feel for the toothless snake to bite you? I would. It felt like a like a pinch, like a little pinch. Oh, um, you know. Okay. It was like it, imagine. So it was pretty small. Yeah, imagine somebody with really bony fingers pinches you semi hard. It's that. That's kind of what it felt like. That's not too bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. Um, I didn't. It didn't break the skin or anything, and I didn't drop it, so it wasn't painful. But um, I took him out of the water and I put him on the beach, and I thought he had died because I think it's a water snake. I don't think he's supposed to be there. Um, so I waited a little while, then I got a stick and I put him back in the in the water, and he was fine. He was just motionless for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't don't kill water snakes also, by taking them out of the water. Also, it sounds like maybe just don't pick up snakes, I guess. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, that's a good place to start with. He was like seven inches long. You know, it, it wasn't a big snake. He was just like this small, unintimidating guy. What color was he? Green. Okay. Do you remember that song, Black Snake, we used to listen to in uh, like eighth grade? Oh, yeah. It rings a bell. But by a Atomic Rooster. Yeah, that was Dude with weird. the sandwich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a weird song. If you ever want to see a weird music video for a song, check out Black Snake by Atomic Rooster. The lead that means banger. don't yeah. check that out. That's the lead, what that means the lead singer is like eating a sandwich throughout the course of the video. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's the weirdest. What's the weirdest music video you've seen? I don't know. Black Hole Sun is up there. That's a weird one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really like, um, what, what's that one by, uh, Greek, Greek tragedy. tragedy. Yeah. That's a great one. Oh yeah. The cannibal. That's, no, that's not the cannibal. That's the Wait. sociopath that kills all the band Shh. members. That's yeah. Yeah. You, well, you ruined it now. Well, yeah. Sorry. Why did I think that he alert. ate people? I don't know. It was, uh, you're probably thinking of a different one because this is a chick. No, I, I, I was it a wombat? I, va- yeah. I, re- I vaguely remember watching that music video probably three years ago and that people died. Yeah. Yeah. And my brain just added on. You were discretion is advised. Eaten. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, no, it's that's not, a Freudian It's not slip. that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they found me out. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you don't hear from us again, uh, Ross will have them. eaten us. <laughs> well, speaking of eating people, I've got a phenomenal segue into my story at really? right this point. Yeah. So, you know how you get those like you know how you eat people. You know. You know how you get those alerts on your phone when there's like a, a weather warning or like a flash flood warning in your area, something like that. Yes. Um, and you get like the amber alerts when there's a missing child, and you kind of look at it and you put your phone away without really registering what's going on. I always feel terrible about that, but not terrible enough to, you know, actually go out looking for a missing person. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it's similar to the accidental bomb threat that was uh, in Hawaii. Yeah, remember yes, that? Yeah. From January when it was a bad time. That was terrifying, probably for the people of Hawaii. It was like several hours where they didn't know if they were going to be uh nuked. Yes. Yeah, that was a that was a real thing. So, this was less serious. This was a uh, a power outage, but it was a, an alert that was sent out to everybody's phone at about 1:41 in the morning in a place called Lake Worth, Florida. And the alert read, power outage and zombie alert for residents of Lake Worth and Terminus. <laughs> there are now far less than 7,380 customers involved due to extreme zombie, zombie activity. Restoration time uncertain. So <laughs> for a few minutes, people who were up around one in the morning really thought there were zombies attacking the city of... Uh, Lake Worth and Terminus. You know what's best? The best part about that story yeah. is that um, most of those people who are awake at that time are probably just seriously drunk. Yeah, I was gonna say let's look at the demographics. That was exactly what I was, yeah. it was up at one. In and the so, well, and it was a Sunday morning too. So people were. I mean, it was like out late from Saturday night. Yeah, it was know? all like drunk college kids. Right. Yeah. I don't know what what is in Lake Worth. It might be a bunch of old people. So maybe nobody was up. 
Isn't Terminus the name of a walking yep. dead? Yeah. That's not even a real city in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just they, they just put that in there as as part of the prank. Um, Wait, so... So, yeah, did the government orchestrate this? Because I, fake so news? It was probably a hacker, uh, is what they think. Russian? They, well, uh, we don't want to be racist here, Ross, <laughs> but uh, it's likely. Uh, as I've said, I've never had good experiences with Russian people. Once again, sorry to our Russian listeners. Yes. Um, We've lost all of our Russian listeners and our North Korean listeners. So... Yeah, sizable market you got there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too concerned about either of those demographics. But hey, you know what? If you're a Russian and you're still around, I salute you. Um, so, in response to this incident, the city manager uh, by the name of Michael Bornstein came out and promised, rather than saying that zombies do not exist and are not present in our town, he said, "Our zombies aren't violent." <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, they're like scrubbing these prank messages and try. Apparently, they're all, you know, pre written, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to have an emergency and then somebody's got to type out the alert and sure. send it out. Yeah. So they've got these like uh, categorized pre written alerts for uh, zombies, for natural disasters. And apparently, yeah, the zombie one just got in there somehow. Uh, and nobody's really sure what happened with that. That's uh, hilarious. Bornstein went on to say, we have an understanding psyche, and we welcome our zombie population. So it is unclear to this point whether there was actually a zombie presence in Or if in there Worth, still is. Florida, yeah. I mean, I haven't been to Florida. I don't know what's I'm, going on. I'm here on a road trip in the works here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're pretty close. We're in... We're in Georgia, so yeah. I well, I what I'm getting from that story is um, wherever you are in the U.S., uh, try and do some research. Make sure that the area that you're in doesn't have violent zombies. Wasn't it in Florida where that guy ate the other guy's face on bath salts? Probably. Yeah, wasn't was. that a thing? Yeah. Yeah, in the Wombat's music video. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Bring it full circle. Yeah, no, it was, uh, so, I mean, there may be real zombies in Florida. There, no, no one's to say. I haven't been to Florida in a long time. Maybe all zombies now. You yeah. never know. I mean, it's 2018. Yeah. Anything can happen. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. true. Uh, but you know what's, you know what's weirder than Florida? What's weirder than New Florida? New York. New York is uh, weirder. There's my great segue. Um, so, I found out, there's, I think this is a really interesting story. There was, in North Rockland... North Rock. All of you who know where that is. I know exactly where that um, is. So this was a story that happened, I think, last Tuesday. This Tuesday. Uh, so there was a car crash, right? Mm-hmm. On the street, obviously. That's yeah. where most car crashes happen. True. And the one guy's car was messed up. The other guy's car was all right. He got out of the car. Uh, the guy's car who had a messed up car uh, got out of the car, viciously beat up this other man. That sounds like New York to me. Yes. Yeah. Took his keys, mm-hmm. took his car, drove away. <laughs> but so wait, wait. Car, car crash turned into Grand Theft Auto. Yes. Yeah. And I'm not talking about like the game. Like that is actually what Grand Theft Auto is. Yes. You just steal a car. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then the police show up and they're like, what the, why would this man just beat up and leave? Like, why did he have to beat him up? So many questions. <laughs> While the police were there, this guy came back with his car yeah. and the keys and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I was just running the Goldbergs, yeah. all right? I got everybody a sandwich. Lunch so, for himself or for others? I think it was for... Both of him and the guy he beat up. It's like, sorry um, about that. Here's a roast beef yeah, like, on rye. Like, <laughs> okay. yeah, so so what happened was this man got out of his car, beat this man up, stole his car, <laughs> went and got lunch, and came back to give him the lunch. <laughs> he is uh, currently, I think he's out on bail. Uh, he was arrested. and Yeah. Yeah, but. But, I mean, he didn't actually steal his car. He gave it back. Yeah, if he brought it back. I don't I mean, he still wrong. assaulted a man. There's well, nothing sure. wrong with anything. A man there, is assaulted. Honest. But yeah, it, tensions are high. He might have wrecked a, a pretty good car that this guy was driving. I don't know. That, that doesn't mean Do you, you assault a, another person. Do we know what he actually got charged with? 
Uh, yeah, I have it here. I don't. I didn't have it memorized. Probably assault and Sorry. battery. Um, uh, maybe Grand Theft Auto if the guy's pressing charges, but probably I not. I still don't know what battery means. I've been alive like 20 years. I think that's a sock full of batteries that you beat somebody with. That's that correct. Must, that must be where that <laughs> that's, comes from. No, that's where it is. Um, so he was charged with robbery, third degree assault, and criminal possession of stolen property. But he's due that? back in court later this month to answer these charges, even though he's out on bail right now. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta have a, a hearing for that. And That'd be horrible to go to prison. Like, they ask why you're in. Like, yeah, I stole a dude's car, bought him lunch, and came back. Yeah. 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 I beat the crap out of him. I took For his, his own good. Yeah, I, he deserved it. He didn't know that he was hungry. Mm-hmm. I had to help him. He wouldn't get out of his car. <laughs> well, I mean, at least he's nice. Is he? He's nice. He, he got him lunch. You know what? I, would... I think it's really interesting. Do you remember that story that our uh, AP U.S. history teacher told us about that psych- psychological experiment that they did where they took people from different parts of the nation and they had them go through this kind of like annoying I don't know, trial of, of things where they had them wait in this waiting room for an uncomfortable amount of time, walked out into this hallway that was really skinny, oh, yeah. and then a, a, a big burly man would walk down this hallway and they would have to move for him because he wouldn't move. And then they'd go into this other room and they'd have to fill out this form. And like they were the person who was giving the form was like really mean. And they were measuring no, the, what was the going person, on. The person who was giving the form was like in a conversation with somebody else. Oh, yeah. And they, mm. they measured how long it would take for that person to interrupt that conversation to talk to them. Mm. And, and for New Yorkers, it was like that. New Yorkers were were right away just like super angry in the (laughs) waiting room, I believe. Yeah, but if you're if you're like us and you're from the Midwest, you will wait patiently (laughs) until that person is done. Yeah, I was gonna say I would literally probably wait twenty minutes before I said something. Yeah, Yeah. like um, excuse me, I I need to give you this form. Like Like, the (laughs) New Yorker will be like, hey, I got this form for you. Yeah, and I mean that's that's how it is. And and as the guys walking down the hallway, we go, oh, yeah, we will move. Oh. Um, there's all, there was also a thing about uh, like a, a Texan, I guess, when they were they were the most polite, but once they snapped, they snapped. Really? That's yeah. I remember him telling about that. Like, that sounds about right. They were they were more polite than Midwesterners, but once once they they clicked, they they were yeah. Once they more got mad rude, enough, more rude than the. Uh, I feel New like Yorkers. I would be there if I got mad enough. I would be I would be like the most uh, aggressive. I you, think you're pretty aggressive when you're mad, but I don't think you're like. Southern mad. No, Southern mad its own class of yeah, mad. Yeah, that's mad. Well, yeah, I mean, there's yeah, I, I've met plenty of, of very nice Southerners, but there there are some that will be very short with you mm. if they're in a bad mood. Yeah, and you know that's just kind of how it is. Todd, I don't think I've ever seen you particularly angry. I don't get angry. I haven't seen or, that's my secret. That I'm mad. I'm always angry. Mm. You're like the Hulk, but skinny. Hey, <laughs> I'm sensitive. Well, I'm skinnier than you are, so I can that's say not that. true. I think so. Well, We're all kind of skinny, to be honest. Yeah. See, I have a shirt right. on, and if you take it off, uh, I just have like this. This there's casing. just nothing there. Yeah, it's it's like it's two space. sticks that are holding my t- upper torso and my legs together. Basically, your physique looks like uh, that of the inside of a Muppet. Yes. Yeah, you're correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's room for many hands to go in, <laughs> in the middle of me. <laughs> Muppet bods making a comeback. I thought we weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Muppets. Muppets are great. You yeah. want to talk about Muppets? I do. Kermit the Frog, best news host of all time. Have you guys listened to his trap remixes? Kermit the Frog. Yeah, no. I've only heard Redbone sung by Kermit. No, there's a bunch more. He did a song by Lil Uzi Vert. I like um, Lil Uzi Vert. I think there's a Lil Pump song. There's just a Kermit's been. Hopped on the mic a lot recently. Yeah. yeah. I've been paying close attention. Hopping. Is he going to drop a mixtape? I really know? hope so. Yeah. I'd buy be... it. Well, I wouldn't, no one buys music. I'd listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Who buys music? That's losers. A fool. Yeah. Only people who, who I got that support their artists. I got that anyway. student deal where you pay five bucks for Spotify and Hulu. I don't know how they're still in business with that one. Oh, they're going to they're gonna get so many millennials yeah. To like stay on yeah, they'll just Hulu. keep doing it. I mean, Spotify. they're gonna they're gonna make up for it in volume. Oh, I for mean sure. that's what a, that's what any sale is. You you discount all your stuff and then you make up for it in volume. I love Spotify and Hulu deal. That's yeah, great. No, it's a phenomenal deal. If Five you're a student a month, and you haven't heard about this deal, um, oh, also Hulu and Spotify not a sponsor. But no, 
Uh, but I'll plug them. Yeah. Do you guys I, have I, any sponsors? Uh, we have one. We we got one sponsor. We'll, Who? We'll talk about. We'll it talk at about the end. him at the end. Okay, we, naturally. We plug him. Yep. Thanks for outing yourself as never listening to any of our podcasts. That is actually very true. <laughs> Although to be fair, even if I did, I always skip the endings when they do the the plugs. But the plugs. but our plugs are good. Yeah. You guys ever heard Jocko's podcast? No. No. He's like this Navy SEAL dude. He has like four hour long podcasts. The last thirty minutes are straight plugs. His, That's his ridiculous. Endings? Yeah, his endings. That's crazy. Thirty minutes. Why would you just do all of that at once? I mean, he, the best way to do ads is to break up what you're doing, right. and everybody hates it. But I mean, I guess in that well, sense, see, that's why it's it's long term versus short term, right? Because I still listen to his podcast because I know he puts it at the end, so I don't have to listen to it. Yeah, that's true, and he probably knows nobody listens to it. Right? He probably knows that like regular listeners but, will cut out. But we know we we know that all of our sponsors, all of our listeners, listen to our sponsor at the end. That's right, Todd. So make sure you're never skipping the ending. Love you, sponsor. You're great. The ending's always the best part. So is that a metaphor that somehow ties into your guys' film stuff? Yeah, I suppose. We're, we're, we're working on, right now, if you're interested, we're working on some, uh, some, some digital shorts we're going to do. Some, some cool new content for you all. Yeah, we're going to throw it up on YouTube. Maybe a different channel, maybe the same channel. Mm-hmm. We haven't really decided you yet. You guys need to make an Instagram. Yeah. If you made, like, Vine-esque videos, mm. this could do well, I yeah. suppose. Just yeah. send them to everyone. Barstool. Send them to every single TFM. Person. Everyone. Right. Got it. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. We will uh, We will consider that. Um, You're welcome. Ross, That's free advice. Ross, tell us about, uh, tell us about your music and, and what you've got going on in Lincoln. I know you've been making a lot of stuff happen in the past year. Yeah. So me and my friend Kevin, who unfortunately could not be here today... Loser. He's working at the country club. Um, do you think the mic can pick up my tummy? I'm very hungry. It keeps growling. Oh, we're going to make tacos after this. Oh, I no, can't wait. Well, only for us. We, we've we been keeping <laughs> Ross uh, locked away in a closet. No, um, that's right. He's going to go back there. They said yeah. something about, like, you know, mental isolation, improving the quality of guests on podca- yeah, podcasts. Yeah, it's true. Or something. Mm-hmm. Also, um, if you want to be a guest on our podcast uh, and you're notable like Ross, um, let us know. Nobody's notable like Ross. That's that you're very true. Sorry, we interrupted you. Yeah. You're just fine. We're we're just going to give fine. you You like, guys are notable. It's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to give you like a hunk of meat in the closet later today for it's get, all I could doing ever a good ask job for. here. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. But uh but yeah. So uh me and Kevin last August started a duo called The Young Ones. Um and honestly Todd was almost like part We had this weird phase where like we weren't a band. We were just like doing music crap in Kevin's basement last summer. Yep. Todd moved to Chicago. Otherwise, I don't, I don't, honestly, I have no idea. Do you ever think about like alternate paths that could have happened? Always. All the time. Yeah. yeah. No, you, you're, you're always choosing. I wish I was in control of the fifth dimension and I could just, you know, have you ever seen Mr. Nobody? No. Oh, dude. Crazy movie. Yeah. Anyway, continue with what you're saying. Uh, sorry for that really niche, um, you're good. Reference. So you're making music. You got it on like Spotify? Yeah, it's everywhere. So we're called The Young Ones. On Spotify, they screwed up. We're just called Young Ones. And we're not big enough for them to actually answer our emails if we try to fix it, which is all right. So if you search Young Ones, you'll see a picture of two white dudes. That's us. Um, so yeah, we started in August, put out three albums in the last nine months. Mm-hmm. And they're good. Yeah, it's good Check music. Them out. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then we started getting into like the producing for other people game as well. Got a studio in Lincoln um, in February, and now we've just been, you know, making beats for SoundCloud rappers. Hope and Kermit comes in soon. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's been our life. You, you've gotten in touch of, with uh, Kermit's manager yet? Uh, I don't know who it is. I wish I could do a good Kermit impression. It's actually his wife. Really? I would have pictured it's just like it's Miss Piggy. evil. Miss like, Piggy. Yep. That makes Darth sense. Darth City. They're married Kermit. now. Were they, were they not married? <laughs> I don't think they were ever married. Yeah, I think they're they married just had a now. weird affair. Going they just had a on. thing. Oh, going really? On. Yeah. Is this Muppets con- canon? This is this is Muppets canon. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. I'm lying. To That's going to screw up all my fanfic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all my Muppets fanfic yeah. I've been writing. Dude. Yeah. Sorry. Do you have to drop that on you? Or uh, Tuscan? Do you have a, a Tumblr? No, I wish. For your Muppet fanfic. I don't have to wish. I actually don't wish I had a Tumblr. Tumblr gets really weird really quick and. Uh, it's not a world. I guess you can kind of choose what you see on Tumblr, uh, what world you want to live in on Tumblr, but it's not a 
generally a world I care to be in. Hey, personally, I, I'm sorry for everyone who. Actually, I'm not sorry. If you have Tumblr, you know what? You're weird. Mm. Yeah, I, I'll say it. Yeah, no, I'm with Tell you. Tell them. It's you have a you have a you have a quirky personality. Also, that's not necessarily bad, but I don't actually know a single person that has a Tumblr anymore. I know a few. They're, you, they're cool people. You're also from got Chicago. A, if yeah. you've got a 4chan, um, <laughs> you should lose your license to be on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. are you guys' thoughts on Visco? I don't Visco. Is it, um, Visco. Isn't that, it's Visco. Visco. Isn't that like the? I don't know. The I never know what to say. It's that's, Visco. Visco. Yeah. That's the photo editing. Uh, well, it's Instagram, it's, right? it's like Instagram. It's like Instagram, but with it's not. only women. Not necessarily. I haven't seen a single dude with a Visco. I, I have a Visco. Nate was on a Visco. Nate has Visco. I have Visco. I haven't used it in a long time. But my one of my really good friends from Chicago, um, Therese, uh, she's very famous on Instagram. So check her out, actually. She's really cool. What's her at? I'll check her out right now. Um, I think it's Therese with a the is her name. How do you spell Therese? Um, T-H-E-R-E-S-E. Um, let me let me look it up i'm sorry tuscan uh vibe just talk yeah. am i allowed to use my phone on this yeah everybody else is just on their sure. cell phone i am currently oh founder carrying this podcast uh god it's hard to do this alone i would not this one? Oh yeah that, um it? no it okay. would be therese needball actually because that's the one that has three thousand five hundred. Yeah, shout out if so, uh therese if you didn't want your uh instagram to be public you shouldn't have let todd follow you yeah i'm sorry um <laughs> yeah it's it's therese nibala that's t-h-e-r-e-s-e-n-i-e-d-b-a-l-a oh, oh, there she is i'm giving it to the I don't listeners oh for, i'm the worst yeah do it again uh t-h-e-r-e-s-e-n-i-e-d-b-a-l-a that's her name, uh, she's really cool. Anyway, the reason why I brought her up is because she is in love with Visco. If you ever talk to her, she will bring up Visco in your conversation somehow. Um, I think she knows the people who uh, who like started Visco, and and apparently she's taught me a lot about Visco. They used to. I, I don't think this is true anymore because they have a lot of um, people who use it now. But they used to. Every single post that was posted on Visco would be looked at by a visco like headquarters person that's crazy really? yeah that's a lot of work that is a lot of work yeah. and then they would just and it was really great because they would use um what they would they would take people's pictures that they thought were really good and like represented the visco brand and put them on the main page oh that's cool and, ah. yeah so it was really really good for like people who were just young starting out photographer yeah. creators is vero still around do you remember that i don't i don't know I don't what know you're what talking about no so like two months ago, this like social network called Vero like was created and it was like viral on Twitter for like two days. So I went and made an account and they said the first million accounts would be free. And then after that, they'd make it like five bucks a year or something. It'd be like it's Instagram, but with no ads, essentially. Hmm. I never used it beyond the first two days. I don't know if anyone else ever has. Honestly, especially if you're paying for social media, that's that that seems adverse to what everybody wants to do. Yeah. See, I th- I don't have a problem with ads as much as other people do. I love ads. I think ads are great, and I think no, they're fantastic. The, you it, you just have to be smart about as a um, an advertiser. You have to be smart about how you do those ads because I think the more authentic that you are with your brand, then it'll be really good. But um, anyway, I. I'd much rather watch an ad and not have to pay for anything than pay for something. I still you know? pay for YouTube Red, though. Yeah, really? you're one of those yeah. people. Well, I watch a lot of YouTube, first of all, and ads would be uh, annoying for me. And, and I, I what, what happened is I bought one of those Google Homes, and you get like six months of free YouTube Red when you yeah. buy one. Mm. And I got those six months, I used it, and now I, I literally cannot go back. Yeah, that's why I can't ever get a free trial of YouTube Red or else I will be upset. Yeah. But, um, I, you know, I like I even don't put like an ad blocker on YouTube just because I want to support my my fellow YouTuber people that I well, watch. Well, yeah, but uh, the the idea of YouTube Red is that money goes to No, the, I know, the, yeah, for sure. It's, people. it's yeah, you get, you I'm get a probably person. more money. I use an ad blocker. Oh yeah. yeah, no, I definitely yeah, you're use the worst. An ad blocker. So no, I usually use an ad blocker, but but you block it on YouTube. But actually, no. But we love ads here and idiots with opinions. Um, love you, mystery sponsor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, let's uh, let's bring him in. Uh, I think I think it's about time to. Is he here? He's on the line. That's a lie. We don't have a phone connected. Um. Hey. What's up? 
All right, what's going on? That's Carl Westberg. Hey, Carl Westberg, what what are you doing? Yeah, uh, I've I've been uh, I've been listening to your podcast. Uh, I, I think it's pretty good. That's the worst Carl Westberg impression I've ever heard. You've never you've click never been around. goodbye. Um, yeah, that guy was weird. Yeah, I don't think that was <laughs> Carl Westberg. I think that was some weird guy who got our number somehow. Uh, probably Ross leaked it. So we're gonna never have him on our show again. Not a reliable source. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, Carl Westberg, great guy. Uh, yep. You know he. He does a lot for us here. Sure does. He always teaches us something new. You yeah. know, uh, he taught me how to how to cat. You know what? Uh, what what's that called when you put your arm in the water? Catfish. Put, well, yeah. You, Wait, no. Well, it, it noodling. Is noodling. Noodling. Yes. You put your. Did you just say catfish. I did. That was wrong. No, but you you <laughs> stick your arm in a hole and you wait until a catfish wraps its mouth and body around you, and then you. Pull it up. Yeah, you go noodling for yeah. catfish. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and so you catch a catfish with your bare hands. It was actually named after George W. Noodle, mm-hmm. um, who had noodle arms, uh, and it was really sad. But he learned how to make the best of it by um, putting Feeding his noodle arms to catfish. Yes. That aside, did you know? So Carl Westberg taught me how to noodle. Great guy. I caught a lot of catfish. We cooked them uh, at a campfire, and we had like a very romantic evening, just me and him. Um, Are you sure he didn't teach you how to canoodle? No. Okay. All right. Just um, checking. But we did you know that catfish can grow up to like uh, like twenty feet long? They can be like these enormous fish. It's a cat shark, Tuscan. No, I don't think so. They can be like these huge fish, right? And, and they can also be fat men on the internet. There are people who want to outlaw <laughs> uh, noodling, and uh, I, I was listening to I think it, like a news story or something about it the other day. And there was this guy who came on, and he was like the the advocate for the Noodlers Club of of Alabama or something like that. Of course, it's Alabama. And and he comes on to to extol the vir- virtues of noodling. And they're like, so, and he comes up for this interview shirtless, right? Well, I mean, he naturally, is, yeah. Naturally, yep. yeah. That's that's exactly what it's I expected. The only way to do it. And so they're like, so, um, sir, what? Why? Why do you think that noodling shouldn't be outlawed? And he's like, if I want to stick a ho- my arm in a hole and catch a fish, I don't see why anybody should tell me I can't. You and know, he's got a good problem. A good point there. Yeah, I can't argue with him. To be yeah, no, I mean, honestly, that's if a- you want to stick your hand in a hole and catch a fish, do it. Yeah. I'm not going to stop you. You have the... That's what the, we were fighting for in 1776. You are a free American. You can do whatever you want with your arm. Mm-hmm. And, Just uh, don't do it to me. Yeah. So that's that's the life lesson we're going to leave you with here at the end of the podcast. Uh, if anybody tells you uh, you you shouldn't be able to do something, you should ask them why why they are telling you you can't. And that's. All right, so um, we also just want to do one more uh, shout out uh, to Ross. Thank you for being on our podcast. Uh, Dude, one more shout out to you guys. Um, Total blast. Yeah. Yeah. Check out Ross on on the spoofy. He's also uh, on Twitter. At do you want to do you want to shout out you want to plug into your social media he he vlogs I do do vlog Um, and you if you search the young ones vlog you'll find the young ones vlog yeah. I don't think people really use Twitter anymore. I use Twitter. Well, I don't a ton. If you want to follow me anywhere, go to Instagram, at Ross Grieb. That's R-O-S-S-G-R-I-E-B, as in balloon party. Mm-hmm. That's correct. And we also, I we need to keep doing this. We need to shout out uh, Ashley Powers. Um, oh, yeah. Because for... I, I, we did shout her out in a couple episodes that we didn't air, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's no good. Yeah. Um, but... She she created the logo for us very generously. Yeah, she's uh, great. Did she's a great job. With wonderful, it. wonderful full person as well. Um, I'm looking up her her exact Instagram handle now. Yeah. So if you ever wondered what Todd and I look like, if you don't know us, uh, just check out. They're our, both extremely uh, handsome. Yeah, but that's true. Just check out the the thing on our uh, on any of our podcasts, the the album cover, and that's the silhouettes of our heads. I don't know if she wanted this uh, in. You know, given to the world, but Ashley uh, is spelled uh, on Instagram is A S H L E Y Y underscore B R O O K E underscore. Um, she does art. She's very, very talented. Um, wonderful person. Fun person to be around. Uh, yeah, and she did a great job on our on our um, 
on our logo. Yeah, hire her for all your graphic designing yes, needs. Yes, she is great at it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so uh, with that, um, also, if you want to follow us uh, on on Instagram, we might be on there soon. Uh, we'll, we'll shout that out in a later episode. Yeah, and mm. Twitter, we are at Opinions That Suck. S-U-K. With an S-U-K instead of an S-U-C-K because we edgy. are illiterate. Very edgy. And... Um, follow, yeah, you're probably listening to us on YouTube, um, but we're also on Apple Podcasts. If you're on Apple Podcasts, we're also on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, with, with that, uh, we can, we can stop plugging all of these things and yeah. being annoying. Remember um, how we said, uh, it's annoying when people do ads for 10 minutes at the end of the video? Yeah, now we're yeah. doing ads for 10 minutes at the end of the video. Let's um, just go noodling. You want to noodle? Let's do it. All right. With that, we will be at the river if you need us. And Tuscan may not have uh, an arm at the end of this, as well as his finger, because he's an idiot. Yeah, we'll see. You've been listening to Idiots with Opinions. Tune in next week.